Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to work on division of fractions, uh, or division of whole numbers by fractions. So we're going to start the concepts of dividing fractions, and we'll start by looking at whole numbers dividing whole numbers by fractions. Um, the good news is, this is going to seem very, very easy to you, because division of anything involving a fraction um, looks very similar to multiplying fractions, which you've already done. And you already know that in multiplying fractions, you do not need to worry about any kind of common denominator. In my opinion, that's what makes adding and subtracting fractions a little bit tougher. You have to do the common denominator thing. But with dividing fractions and multiplying fractions, you don't need to worry about that at all. So let's just jump in and do some problems, and I think you'll see how easy it is. If I have the number 3, and I'm dividing by the number 1 half, we know how to do this in terms of pictures. But how do we do it in terms of math? Well, first thing you do is you always want to write your whole numbers in terms of fractions also. And how do you do that? 3 becomes 3 over 1. We've done that many times before when we were multiplying fractions. So we've changed the problem to this fraction divided by this fraction. All right? So how do we then do it? The trick is all division problems that involve fractions, all of them, end up becoming multiplication problems. Uh, and let me show you how to do that. The way you handle that is, anytime you have a fraction divided by another fraction, you just write the first fraction down, and you change the, the division sign, you change it into a multiplication. And then the second thing, you flip it over, so the 1 half becomes 2 over 1. All right, That's kind of a mind-blowing thing for you to realize, but this is how you're going to solve every one of these division problems. You change the division sign to multiplication, and you flip over the second fraction, so it becomes 2 over 1. Then, it's extremely easy. On the top, you multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. We multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. Now we have 6 over 1, and you all know that when you have anything over 1, it just becomes the number. So the answer we get for this problem is 6. So again, anytime you're dividing by a fraction, you change it to multiplication, and you flip over that second fraction, and you're done. So all division problems of fractions are going to end up being multiplication problems. You already know how to do those. So what if you have 2 divided by 1 fourth? Well, again, very, very, very simple. The 2 becomes 2 over 1. We're dividing by 1 fourth. And then you just keep the first fraction and change this division to multiplication and flip this over. Very easy to do. And then 2 times 4 is 8 on the top. Multiply the tops. 1 times 1 is 1, and we know anything over 1 is just the top number because fractions are also division. So 8 divided by 1 is just 8. And so we get the answer 8 right there. What if we have the problem 2 divided by 2 sevenths? 2 divided by 2 sevenths. So same kind of thing. The 2 becomes 2 over 1 division, divided by 2 over 7. And then this changes to multiplication times, and then we flip over the second, 7 over 2. So basically we change it so that we flipped everything over. 2 times 7 gives us 14 on the top. 1 times 2 gives us 2 on the bottom. And then we're ready to circle our answer, but we look at this and say, well, wait a minute, 14 over 2, this is like division. 14 divided by 2 gives us 7, and that is the final answer. Now for the next problem, what if we have 2? divided by two-fifths. I know you're probably getting a little bit bored with this, but it's the same kind of thing. The two becomes two over one, and we're still dividing by two over fifths.